Hello everyone, um, sorry for the bad lighting, I don't know what's going on. Um, thanks for a cardi sal and just borrowing it. Anyway, um, yeah, so today was supposed to be, um, I was going to do an empties video, um, but I feel I haven't got enough to do like a proper video. Um, so I went shopping today um, because I needed a few things for um, the baby and myself um, so I thought I would show you what I got so I went to Primark Superdrug and Home Bargains they were the only three shops I went to and then I came home um, so let's get started oh and I wanted to show you something that I bought off eBay um, and I wanted some people to comment below um, best use of it best things to use and how to use it. I know how to use it, but um, yeah, so I found this um, shop on eBay that basically sold things that were either damaged in transport or were lost or stolen. Uh, lost or stolen. They're not stolen goods, sorry, that's not what I meant to say. Um, so yeah, so I found this site on eBay. Um, so I bought a Mac 187 stippling brush, is that the right word? Um, and I picked it up for £7, so I don't know if that was a good price or not. So it's just a MAC brush, and it's the stippling brush. It's so soft, honestly. I've, this is like the first proper makeup brush I've ever owned, and I can't believe how soft it is. It's beautiful. I'm so excited to use it. So yeah, I picked that up for £7, so that came this morning, so very excited. It came after I'd already done my makeup, so I couldn't really test it out. So yeah, I pretty much know what a stippling brush is used for, but like I said, I'm, I'd love for you to share best ways of using and what you to use it with. Okay, next up I bought my regular What I You Use shampoo and conditioner. It's just the Aussie awesome volume volume absolutely love this stuff i cannot emphasize how good it is like i said i've got really flat hair um i know every time like i make videos my hair's always in a ponytail that's because it's been down all day and it's, i just like to put it up at the end of the day because it drives me mad um so i'll have to do a video where it's down and i can show you what this stuff really does because it's amazing um i also was on the hunt for a dress for my dad's wedding so I managed to find Holly this the wedding is in May so I managed to find this pink flowery dress it's got like um, an underlay skirt so it's quite ruffled I just think it's beautiful um, so that is that was six pounds don't know if you can see that yeah, six pounds, and I think it's beautiful. For six pounds, you cannot go wrong. So I bought that, and I bought a hat to match. Um, I think it's quite silly that the hats, the dresses go up to twenty-four months, but the hats only go up to twelve. Um, so she's got, she's quite a small little girl. So I got the six to twelve months, and it just sits on her head perfectly. Um, so yeah, I'd rather her have a hat that's a bit too small just to protect her head so yeah it's got the same flowers as the dress so I thought that was a really nice touch um, sticking to Holly I also bought her some spotty shorts oh how cute are these they'll be great for well it's spring at the moment but it's still quite cold so I can put some tights underneath and then just keep her bare legs then when it gets a bit warmer and these were £4 bar again Um, I'm going to tell you a funny story. I actually bought Oliver a whole new outfit from Primark. Um, I bought him a jacket, trousers and some new socks um, because his um, he had £10 off Sally's boyfriend's parents. Um, so I bought him a whole new outfit um, because we're going away. Going away. We're going to Reading on Saturday. So I wanted to buy him some new trousers for that. I couldn't find him a nice shirt and tie so I just bought him um, a jacket instead. But he was actually sick on the way to town, 
um, on the bus because he was staring at the window too much so I had to completely change them as soon as I bought them so that's why I can't show you them because he wore them today and they were dirty um, I wanted to buy some joggers for myself just for the nursery run um, because I did have a blue pair that I loved and I tumble dried them and they like past my ankles and I, I love ankle grazers don't get me wrong but not joggers so yeah I've just bought myself a pair of these they just turn up at the bottom and these were seven pounds. And I bought myself a jacket, a zip jacket to go with it, just because I either have to wear um, a really thick coat or a rain mac that focus, thank you, a rain mac that doesn't keep me warm, keeps me dry but not warm. So I just wanted a jacket that I could throw on when it's just a bit, you know, windy or whatever. Um, and this jacket was eight pounds. So yeah, it's just um, it looks black, but it's actually like a dark grey navy colour. Terrible description, sorry. Um, and then for the wedding again, I bought Holly this little. It's like a it's a long sleeved cardigan, but it's cropped. Um, and it's got like a little flower on um, this is also she's also going to be wearing this to Reading on Saturday when we go see some family um, because she got bought a an outfit by her nan um, and it's like it's got like it's a square neck and it's like aztec -y kind of style so I just thought I could get one of these because you can use them in anything so she can wear this with that on Saturday and then also for the wedding because even though it's going to be in May we are living in Britain and the weather's not always, um, always, what's the word? Oh, that cardigan was six pounds and I bought myself some socks because, I don't know why, because I have a strange thing when I go into Mar uh, Marmot, when I go into Primark, I either have to buy pyjamas or socks. So I thought I'd buy socks this time and it's five pairs for three pound and they're just stripey and it's blue yellow, purple, orange, pink, quite cute, so hail colours for spring. <coughs> oh bless me. And then I bought myself some, just some plain blue, I don't know what these shoes are actually called look really cheap and nasty but they're really comfy well they don't look cheap and nasty but they are pretty much they don't they last very long for me anyway and these were four pound I just find them really comfortable and then last thing for myself I bought I've got a thing for jumpers like even in the summer I just love a cuddly jumper so I bought this see-through I don't know if you can see that see-through hello um yeah it's see-through it's kind of it's like lacy design um it's really really soft so i could wear like a cami top underneath and it's with jeans so yeah i really like this and it was eight pound i wanted to get more of them but um i did like the other colors that they did and then lastly from primark i think it's the last one um i bought myself some black tights um, because I've recently bought a dress from New Look about two weeks ago and I can't wear it because I don't have black tights um, it's like not warm enough to go bare-legged here and so and these were two pound it's just the 60 denier so yes right now moving on to Superdrug it's not all that exciting I bought some cotton wool oval pads I think there's 50 of them and these were £1.49 I think I just love them because I, I use it to um, tone my face and to remove my eye makeup so I just like the bigger ones I don't like the tiny ones I feel I use more of them but the bigger ones I can kind of so yeah I bought them I'm so excited for the next one because I've been watching a lot of makeup videos um, basically like asking like I don't know if you can see but I've got quite like my eyes are quite slitty they're not small but they're very like or very slitty um, so they always look really small so I've been watching videos of how to make your 
eyes look bigger and without dramatically having a lot of eyeshadow on I don't want to keep putting loads of eyeshadow on just to go to playgroup if you know what I mean um, so another a few videos mentioned white eyeliner so I bought this Rimmel don't know if you'll be able to see that see if it's going to zoom in anyway it's just a soft coal eyeliner pencil in pure white so I don't know if it's going to zoom in it does not look like it's going to no 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 anyway give up on that so yeah, it's just a Rimmel eyeliner, just a white one. So yeah, I'm going to try that out and see if all the advice is works. And I also run out of body spray. I'm a really big fan of Impulse. I went to buy Impulse, but they had an offer on where it was two of Superdrug's own for £1.50. And I smelt them, they smelt really nice, so one pound fifty for two, we can't go wrong. So the first one is called Flirty Body Spray. And the second one is called Seduce Body Spray. I don't know if you can see that. Hello? Pardon? Yeah. This thing called video editing. Give you a kiss. Good night. Mm. Say hi. Holly, say hi. Say hi, everyone. Go to bed. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, Holly. See you in the morning. Bye bye. And that's everything from Superdrug, I think. And the last things are, oh, these are not very exciting at all. But the Silk and Satin Ultra Plus, not very exciting, don't really need to know that I bought them, but I bought two of them, so I'm just showing you what I bought. This thing, I am so excited, you wouldn't even believe like, how much I paid for this thing. Um, it's the Neutrogena Wave Power Cleanser. Um, it comes with the actual power cleanser, attachment head 14 pads and an AA battery. This was £1.99. I am not even kidding you from Home Bargains. Um, I couldn't find any refill pads um, and I think they're quite expensive in Asda so I'm going to like look on eBay and see how much I can get them for. I still cannot believe I paid £1.80, £1.99 for these. So yeah, I am so excited to try this out. I wasn't even looking for one, but for £1.99, I couldn't leave it there, I'm really sorry. And um, also, um, I think in my video yesterday, I mentioned the fact that I never use eye cream in my life. And so I wanted to try an eye cream out. I didn't want to spend too much, um, because I, like I said, nobody commented below and told me any ideas. So I've been trying to watch videos and... I couldn't really find much about it so I just bought this Derma V10 Q10 eye cream if you can see that so restores skin elastic elasticity visibly reduces fine line and wrinkles so I thought I would try this one out and see how I get on I paid four pounds for this four pounds so yeah, there was rows and rows and rows of skincare, like Simple, Garnier, Neutrogena, Nivea, Johnson's. I didn't know which eye cream to get. I'm like, seriously, I need help on this. So please, comment below, please. And then the last thing I bought was the nails I was wearing yesterday. I removed them because I'm putting some more on. And these are Red Professional Airbrush Manicure Nails, and you get 24, so you've got two uses out of them don't you just hate it when you buy nails and they give you like 16 it's like we have 10 fingers so two is 20 so can't you just add an extra four so we can get another use out of it but no they give you like 16 it's really frustrating 
So these give you 24, so two sets plus four stairs, spares, and for £1.99. And I tell you, I am all for, like, cheapy brands because these work amazing. Um, the ones I took off yesterday lasted for, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Lasted five days. Um, and I was, and I didn't even need to take them off. I just didn't like the the colour that I painted on them. I was just bored of it, so I wanted to go back clear. That's the only reason why I've got to re-put them on. But love them, love them. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I bought. Like I said, I also bought Oliver an outfit, um, but that was emergency clothes, so <laughs> obviously they're in the wash. Um, so yeah, so like I said, please comment below on advice for this and some ideas for eye cream i would be so grateful um thank you so much for watching please like the video and even subscribe if you like me that much um so yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully i'll be doing my empties video soon i really want to do it like i said i just don't feel like i have enough products so as soon as i do that will be my video so bye everyone bye